morning or evening. It's morning here in the west coast of America on the Oregon coast, looking at the Pacific Ocean with a fire, which is illegal right now. I'm outlaw camping. <sighs> the funny thing was a guy came in yesterday and I don't know if they are giving that guy a ticket or towing him or whatever, but he came up and pulled up next to the car that was here when I got here originally, like a month ago. And I was like, asking him the question. I was like, so, you know, is this public? And he's like, yeah, he's all, this guy's been here a while though. So, yeah. So I'm like, okay. Cool. So, yeah, I guess that they, they don't let you build foundations or let your park the car for a month. So. Or build a fire. But shh, I'm an outlaw. It's kind of what I do. I'm like, it's cool because I'm sitting there thinking about this and part of my ritual for the last year and a half has been fire. You know, of course it's just, I was outdoors, I was in, I started, originally started this quest in Washington State, north of here, in October. So it was pouring rain all the time, so I was like constantly having to have a fire just to keep everything dry and keep my spirits from being, you know, dampened. And then I realized that once I started getting into the spirituality of it, and I call it spiritual boot camp because I have no teacher. Well, I have teachers, that's not true. For the last three or four years, I've been um, reading, I've been doing tarot. I've been watching tarot on um, YouTube. And a lot of the my teachers are basically just tarot readers. A lot of them don't do traditional tarot either. A lot of them are just, um, they do they do angel cards and they'll just do different, there's different kinds of decks that you use. Cause you know, some people are really, you know, don't like witches and just really fundamental about stuff. And they don't, that, that, that's all, that, that's sad because they're fighting with, they're basically, when they do that, they just help the dark Lord. They just help the darkness. When you feed into that bullshit, if you're not inclusive, then you're just feeding into the darkness. That's all that is. So you gotta watch yourself and don't feed into the darkness. Everybody's included, even the, even the assholes who demand you know their sexuality, even though you don't give a shit because it's none of your business, that kind of thing, right? So anyway, spiritual boot camp. That's what I'm going through and I have been going through. And I noticed that for me, this is a very pivotal moment, I'm not just mention all the, the breakthroughs and the downloads, but but for my power and being a, being a you know, a, a, wizard or magician or whatever you want to call me you work with the four elements of nature and not just inside but outside and like I said fire has been part of my ritual but what I've had all along was water the ocean I have earth beneath my feet and air and what you know air and now I have fire so I can play with the four elements and it helps to helps me to focus kind of like um, Nostradamus was interesting I guess he'd go up into a room and he'd look to stare into a bowl or something you know, when I meditate, this is what I do. I sit there and I have a fire and I just watch, I just chill and watch the fire and my mind wanders and that's kind of how I meditate. So it's like, I've never, I didn't sit there and train meditation with people. I just, that's just not my thing. I'm just not a joy. And maybe that's why it's taken 50 years for me to figure all this out, but at the same time, it is what it is. I'm, a, I'm blessed to be here, I'm blessed to be me and I'm excited about my journey and where it's taking me and where it's gonna go. And we'll see. But this has been a serious, interesting spiritual book camp. And I'm not sure where I'm going with this. I just thought it was kind of interesting, you know, working with the four elements and in my journey and and discovering, you know, secrets. Still, there's so much. I'm still I'm still learning. And that's what I'm saying. This whole if you would have told me three years ago that I'd be you know, chopping cards. This is a really cool one, by the way. It's called the uh, White Sage Tarot. I got this actually in Newport last year. And, yeah, yeah, it's really cute. <clears throat> but I, I never thought, and somebody would have told me that, I'd be like, what? Dude, I don't do that. Dude. What the hell are you talking about? Energies. You know, that kind of thing. I'd be like, dude, really? And it's not, it was just my ignorance to the situation. I, like, tarot. I loved horoscope. I always, you know, I knew I was Taurus. I knew my birthday, so I kind of, you know, that one, was my app sisters and my mom, and whatever. So they were into that. So then I would, you know, I'd always check my horoscope, and then, you know, the last couple of years, like, 
when I first come out of my shell, when I was in my apartment painting all day long, just doing that for like five or six years or seven, I don't know, I was, yeah, I was getting too much on that one. When I finally came out of my shell, it was just, it was like me opening up to the world and I had to, you know, learn new stuff, figure some stuff out. And, you know, it's still, it's still a process and I'm still learning, but you got to stay positive and hope for the best and live in love and light and because, yeah, people are, I saw people, uh, let's just say not everybody's taking the high road. People are, a lot of people are, are drinking and abusing drugs and, and, and like hardcore. And it's just like, like that guy that was smoking that, what the hell are you smoking on that oil? When I was in Chiriaco Summit, and just parked right next to me too. It was empty, it was empty. That was a weird part. It was like, dude, you had to park right next to me to smoke your crack. I was like, please, it hurt my heart, dude. I was like, no. So there's a lot of people hurt right now. A lot of people are giving up. A lot of people are losing hope. They're losing faith in themselves and in the world. I mean, can you blame them? Look at the dumbasses in front of it, right? Anyway, we live in love and light. Let's just focus on our journey, personal journeys, because that's how you become, you know, I don't know, maybe this is how I'm going to help the world. Charging my energy. Again, I was drained. I was so tired this morning, thirsty. So I gotta hydrate a lot and I gotta keep sleeping. And you know, somebody still, you know, the world needs my love, then you can have it, baby, because I love you. And that'll be the end of that, right? And God loves you and the universe is crazy about you. So have a wonderful day and good luck in your spiritual journey with your spiritual boot camp. It's gonna be interesting. You can actually my videos are basically kind of like a tutorial. You know, it's like, uh, watch this idiot fumble through the woods and see what he discovers and maybe you can learn something from it. There's 400 plus videos, people. Feel free. Namaste. Have a wonderful day. I'll give you a little something-something before I go. Oh, oh yeah.